Alrighty folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join us exploring the Angus countryside here and once again we're joined by the channel DJ here and in this episode we've come to look at a spooky little abandoned house that I have been to before but we've come back again because we we're in the nearby area we thought we'll come for another look at this and the channel DJ's never seen this so it's it's always a cool adventure to keep exploring new history in the recent storms we've had with the strong winds I wanted to see if it had taken any effect on this house because I remember like last time I was here the roof was just on its last legs Check this out for, folks Incredible bit of abandoned history here hidden in the Scottish hills the Scottish valleys, whatever you want to call this It's kind of just, it's not up the glen or that, it's just the wild landscape of Angus folks and you get little abandoned nuggets like this just hidden all over it and yeah this is quite a cool one like I said down at the bottom of the hill it's like every time I come here the roof's starting to fall in more and more so it's super dangerous to come here at one time this was a little farm croft this was a little farm croft with outbuildings and then on the newer maps it's actually just a house on its own and then I think the ground got kind of teen by like the local farmer wow it's a cool adventure coming to a place like this to see the difference and it's so deteriorated now wow this door was holding up the roof and see now the door's down but the roof's no so that shows you how even more dangerous it is now folks this is crazy this roof above our heads could come in at any moment but we're just in here getting the footage and exploring history and wow I say it in all the videos like the adventure to come to a place like this is the cool bit of it often and it's so cool to show like the channel DJ these places too when he's not been up here for check the old fireplace with the tiles and stuff it's super dangerous going in that other room now. The door used to be perching up that lintel. Look at this folks, the door is still here and look it is still holding up that bit of the roof. It's dangerous because that whole bit is like, it's sagging down so much more than the last time I was here. Yeah, but see the door, like how much it's dug in. But look, the floor's totally shot out in this room. It's probably no safe to go in. No. Look at this, folks. We can see over the top of the door. Wow. Real band history right here. And, like, see the weight of those stones and stuff? It's just, it would crush you in an instant. Wow, what a cool place, folks. Cool to see like what had been like the little kitchen or larva kind of bit here. You can imagine the stuff up on the shelves. Look at the curved plaster work up at the corners. And then look, there's been a wee sink here. Yeah, and then look, this back window's totally out now. We'll go out this way. Look at the old bits cut out of there from when they must have built the house. Check it out folks, I came out the back way. Crazy, crazy place. It's actually starting to get dark in the winter here, the days are short. there now is starting to like sag down so it is really dangerous and like I'm sure the first time I came up here and that like the window frames and stuff were still in place and a lot more of that roof was on before the recent storms it's lucky none of these trees have blown down onto the house like this is the little outhouse kind of bit or little garden shed 
I think more of this roof's come down as well since the last time I was here. And look at that scored into the beam, folks. 977 upside down. So I'm not sure if this place was built in like, I don't even know, 1977. I can't remember the year of the maps that I looked up back in the day, like. Check out the character of the roof and that. The chimney. These trees were probably back, like, still there back in the day as well. And at one time there was farm buildings out here. And it was just like a proper little croft. You can see now the chimney's starting to lean in really far into that living room kind of kitchen bit. Insane, folks. Real history once again right here on the channel. Like, long-time viewers of the channel will recognise this house and stuff, but it's so cool to come back and document stuff like after a storm and that. You often see the difference and you can see how lucky we were to visit it when we did. Because now it's just gone and ruined. It's just four walls now instead of having a roof. And all the windows now are just lying inside. We might get a better look in this room from here. Look at this folks, this is the room where the the door's holding up the lintel. Wow. Just think of the craftsmanship and like, think of the era this was built. Originally it probably had no electricity in. They had shutters like this on the windows to keep the heat in. And then as the years progressed, like they would have got an electric and stuff fitted. Because it looks like there's the cable. There's cables going in there for sure. And like that's where that is on the wall. So who knows, folks. They have had electric. It's probably been abandoned, I would say. I don't even know, like 1940s or something, maybe 1950s. And then it's just never been upkept. It's maybe been sold on and forgotten about. This is crazy now, folks. The neck this roof's in, it's literally going... I say this every time I come to this house, but the roof is going to fall down any day now, like, or any time there's a storm. Like, it's just literally hanging on with its last legs here. It's probably not even that safe. That's how we've done to go into that other room and stuff like that. You have to be sensible when you're exploring, like... And the roof just sagging in the whole way. And even this little porch, it's got so much character, but the roof on it now is just starting to sag in. Yeah, it's a shame. A bit of architecture getting lost to nature and time, folks. See, they have had electrical wires coming in at one time. This could be some stones remaining from like a little outbuilding. And then look, here's the original little garden wall here of this house. This was like a farmhouse of its era, folks. Like I said earlier, without buildings here and stuff. I don't know how many fields they had around the area, but yeah, it's cool. A lot of the time that happens with the smaller properties. They get bought over by other like farmers or whoever in the local area and they all just get teen into one like bit of land and then places like this just get forgotten about and the far down and then they're forgotten but yeah folks that's been a cool adventure i'll end this one here in this forgotten little scottish garden overlooking this incredible view goodbye for me goodbye for the channel dj and we'll see you in the next adventure very soon